In this video, we will compare the two most popular open source privacy focused browsers. One based on Chromium with Tor features, and the other, a blend of Firefox and Tor. Left side is Brave, and right side is Molvad Browser. Here are the download links, which will be given below. Both browsers are open source. You can see Mulvad Browser comes with pre-installed extensions, like uBlock Origin and Tor-specific extensions. Brave comes with its own Brave Shields, which blocks trackers and ads, and also blocks fingerprinting. Now, let's determine which browser offers better protection against fingerprinting. If you closely examine the signature in the Mulvad Browser, you will notice that it changes every time you refresh the web page. In contrast, in the Brave browser, the signature changes only once per browser session. Now, compared to Chrome's fingerprint signature, which is neither spoofed nor altered, it becomes easier for trackers to follow your online activity. For instance, when we restart Brave, it will change your signature. You may notice black borders in the Mulvad browser. This is actually to enhance resistance to fingerprinting, although it might be difficult to adjust to initially. Additionally, I haven't found an option to disable it in the settings. Now, let's quickly do other privacy and security tests. Results are shown on screen. This letterboxing is caused by a Mulvad black border, which masks the actual display resolution, providing spoofed or less information about your browser to the trackers. This is the default filter list to block multiple trackers, ads, and spam sites. You can add or enable more filter lists using browser settings. This summary concludes that Molvad is successfully spoofing locations for trackers, whereas Brave has managed to resist various fingerprinting techniques, but not geolocation spoofing. Please note that Molvad is blocking trackers that collect geolocation information from your browser. However, this does not make you invisible online or change your IP location. To achieve that, you still need a VPN, which we have discussed in a video. Please check it out. This is the default homepage of both browsers. Here, you can see that Brave offers numerous options and customizations, while Mulvad is pre-tweaked for privacy and does not allow many options to be changed. As you can observe, we cannot turn off letterboxing, which may be a deal breaker for some users. There is another open source, pre-tweaked privacy browser that is a fork of Firefox named LibreWolf. It includes the option to toggle letterboxing on and off, 
If you're interested in exploring it, a link is provided below. Now, let's return to the comparison. In Brave, we've switched to aggressive blocking, while in Molvad, we are using the default protection setting, as the safest option may disrupt some sites. Additionally, Molvad comes with its own default DNS. Molvad includes pre-installed extensions, whereas Brave offers an inbuilt Tor connection. In content filtering, you can add or remove filter lists similarly it can be done in Molvad using UBO extension. This is the source code of the browsers. Software credits goes to the developers and its contributors. Support their work. Only use official links to download. If you want to learn more about these browsers, then check this article out. Links will be given below. Well now, some of you may ask why we need fingerprinting protection anyways. Um, let's AI answer it. Here you can see the extent of data leakage to trackers if your browser lacks robust fingerprinting protection. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Choosing a browser is subjective, and every browser deserves a fair chance to compete, especially since it acts as a second OS. Thank you very much for your time. Please consider subscribing if this was helpful. Have a good day.